Yeah, Erin, these deer are just kind of in your face. They're a lot more gutsy right now, and that's because it's birthing season, and there are a larger number of deer wandering around, and they are extraterritorial because of their babies. This time of year, we get calls from people who think deer are acting strangely. Jeff Can with the California Department of Fish and Game says the daring deer behavior is actually normal for this time of year. The deer's just protecting its youngsters, so it's being standoffish and it's trying to spook the perceived threat and, and scare you or and or your dog away. Several Pacific Grove residents we spoke with say they've experienced the aggressive deer phenomenon, which is more likely to happen if you have a dog or cat with you. Had a deer turn on me a little bit and kind of let me know that I shouldn't be so close. But the even bigger concern for gardeners like Michelle Barrett is the plants. There are lots of deer, there are lots of babies, and the babies tend to eat everything. Even things that they don't, wouldn't normally eat. When they grow up a little bit, then, they, then they're more selective. Fish and Game, however, says the population is healthy, not above normal for this time of year. Deer are doing fine in those areas, um, but this time of year we like to plant what we call ice cream plants. People go to Orchard Supply or Home Depot or wherever and they get flowers and put them in, and those are things deer like to eat. So the takeaway, if you want to keep the deer out of your gardens, steer clear of roses and other flowers. They are basically like candy for these deer. Fish and Game also recommends making sure fountains or other water sources are dried up in backyards. Often, the deer will come for a drink along with their snack. We all work hard to try and make our yards a nice place, and often the animals recognize that. So um, if you can make them a little less hospitable, you'll have less animal visitors. Fish and Game also wants to encourage people to not help fawns that are left alone. It's actually normal behavior for the moms to leave those fawns for long periods of time while they're getting food. In fact, it's actually against the law to feed those big game mammals in general, big, big game mammals, I meant to say, like deer in California and could result in hefty fines. Erin. All right. Thank you, Bryn. So Fish and Game, by the way, has a list of plants that will not attract deer to your garden. You can find a link on our website. KSBW.com.